Today we'll talk about how to clean artichokes for various pests uh, bug, um, and bugs, snails, ants, aphids, beetles, worms, all types of yummy things you can find in these guys if they're not cleaned properly. But a word to the wise, if you don't really love artichokes, it's not worth, it's not worth the hassle because four artichokes like this can take about an hour to properly clean. Enjoy the video. Step one of uh, getting the uh, artichokes ready is cutting them in half like this to get up all the tops of leaves and that allows the, it to be much more open inside. Then you can take a knife, dig into the center of the flower to get that open so you can get the checking for bugs started from there. Next step is you trim each of the bottom leaves, trim them in half. A, that removes the thorns, so you don't eat the thorn, but it allows you to look deep in all the way to where the leaf connects to the artichoke, to the bulb of the artichoke. And you do that on every single leaf, come to the top, check in, and after you check all the outer leaves, then you start going to the inner leaves, looking inside of each one. Then you open up the flower a little more inside. And you can start poking around in there also, looking for bugs. And that is step number two of checking the artichoke. Now we've opened up all the flowers. We've we've removed all the all the tips. We've pulled each leaf down a little bit. Now we pour salt heavily into it, into each one. Make sure we get between all leaves. Open up the center of the flower a little more. Make sure the salt goes down there into the heart. And then you put them in the pot and you pour warm water into the pot to make sure it dissolves all of the salt in. And you let it sit for half an hour to an hour. And hopefully that will get any remaining bugs that were missed out of that. So I had a middle um, another pot on top of it to make sure that artichokes were fully submerged in the water, they didn't float up, so that any bugs that were in there would float out. They've been sitting in salt now for an hour. Pour out the salt water. And then I use my special artichoke spritzer to spritz into every leaf with high pressure. Make sure that there's nothing hiding into any leaf. I do this, you see if I open these things and leave my thumb, get everything all the way down, and then afterwards, I take it out, and do one more check in between each leaf to make sure that nothing was missed in between, even down into the center of the heart, of the, um, the heart of the flower. Then we'll go through each every leaf, and Repeat, repeat, make sure these black dots, make sure none of them are ever a bug. What type of bugs do I find in here? Occasionally I find, uh, not occasionally, most of the time I find things that will resemble an aphid. I don't know if they're a true aphid or a relative of an aphid. Occasionally I'll find ants. And uh, the, there's usually some type of small worm, a very thin small worm in there. Occasionally a fly. And very commonly, not a bug, but I will very often find a slug, uh, not, not just a slug, actually a snail. Those are the easiest to find. And once, uh, once you find those, you can pull those right out very easily. And then obviously the final step is just be cooking it after we've done all the, the multiple checking. 